it appears that we are moving towards a outcome where Sanders and Biden maybe are going to be duking it out, but uh, you never know with Bloomberg. Who knows? I think the the rough thing with Bloomberg is he's run a lot of ads. He's got a great resume, in my opinion, but he's not a great candidate. Like he just doesn't. When you see him speak, you don't feel like more inclined to support him. Whereas uh, Bernie, I would say when I see him speak, even though he's way sort of left of where I am uh, politically, I'm like, you know what? This guy seems like an honest guy. Uh, he's probably going to try to do what he says he wants to do. There's no like secret motives. Um, I don't think he's, you know, sort of has any integrity issues, um, yada, yada. So anyway, that is a high level of the polls. But let me also kind of go into um, a deeper dive into one of the polls, um, specifically the YouGov polls that were just uh, finished up on Feb 25th, so just about a week ago from, uh, from when we're streaming right now. And it's always kind of fun to do a deep dive into these polls to kind of get a sense of where, where, the, where everybody's heads are at. And both, by the way, if you're uh, watching this, can you and you're enjoying the conversation so far, please give us a like. It does help us get more discovered by, uh, by other people. So let's go into the deep dive of the polls here. So this is the Economist YouGov poll. Let's look at where is, Blue, is Biden strong in terms of his favorability. He is strongest with uh, females. Older than 65 who are black. Black females over 65 are very strong Biden. And where is he most unfavorable? It would be uh, also females who are interestingly also over 65 but white wow that's weird and then everyone else is just kind of like somewhat and then if you look at for republicans ah, 10 percent are somewhat or very favorable and 70 percent of democrats are favorable uh, and a quarter of independents are favorable. Okay, so that's Biden. So takeaway for Biden is he, older black women love him, older white women hate him. Uh, most Democrats like him and only about 10% of Republicans and a quarter of independents like him. What about favorability of Bernie? Uh, da, 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 da. there we are. And let me just check back in with the stream. You guys can hear me okay, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, going back. Favorability of Bernie. Who loves Bernie? Very favorable. Ah, male and female is kind of evenly split. Uh, definitely 18 to 29, really like him. Ironically, even though he's old himself, older, uh, people 65 and older, they're not very favorable. Only 15% are favorable to him. And in terms of white, black, Hispanic, uh, strong with black and Hispanics, less strong with, um, white, kind of like, uh, Biden, frankly. And then how does Bernie do with Republicans? Bernie has the same favorability for Republicans as Biden does. So anybody that tells you that Biden's going to pull Republicans over, not true. In fact, Bernie actually has stronger um, independence. He has 36% favorable, whereas Biden only had 25 and Bernie has stronger favorability with the Democrats. So there you go. 
I would say in the whole Biden versus Bernie favorability battle, Bernie wins because he has more independents, the same amount of Republicans, and a little bit more Democrats. Um, and now let's see Bloomy. Bloomy, where is his favorable? Uh, male, female kind of split, but pretty low. And he, oh, there's the guy that does well with the older people. He, he's, he's got more favorable from the olders. Um, he also does better with black and Hispanics than whites, man, like the white, the white voters are not loving these Democrats. Um, and then where's his unfavorable for Bloomberg is most unfavorable would be males. Ooh, he's, his unfavorables are kind of consistent across the board for age. Uh, whites, white male. If you're white male, you're more likely to be un. If you want to find someone who doesn't like Bloomberg, uh, a white male would be better choice. Now, interestingly enough, uh, when you break it down by party, even though Bloomberg used to be a Republican, he only has 9% favorability with Republicans, and he only has 19% favorability with independents. So Bernie has stronger favorability with independents. Even Biden does better with independents than Bloomberg. And then Bloomberg doesn't really show up that strong with Democrats either. Mm. Yeah, I'm not vibing. So I think in the sort of favorability battle, not looking good for old Bloomberg. Um, oh, you know what? Since we're the nerds for Yang Channel. Oh, did they? Did they even ask about Yang anymore? I don't know. They may not have. They may have stopped asking about Yang favorability. Let me quickly see. No, those mofos. Nah, he ain't on there anymore. Ah, too bad. Uh, that's what happens when you suspend your campaign. They just stop asking about you. So TLDR for the favorability deep dive is Bernie, then Biden and Bloomberg. Mm -mm, having tough go. Which is sad because I love um, Bloomberg's resume. Like I'm super impressed with his education and being a mayor of such a complicated city. I, I get people don't like the stop and frisk thing. And um, I agree that it, it was uh, way out of hand and, you know, should never have happened. On the other hand, I, I would not be surprised if some people still on – on the overall sort of reduction in crime still think that Bloomberg did an okay job in the, in the city. I mean, he was reelected by the people who live there. Um, but yeah, I mean, as much as I like it. And then of course, CEO of, of Bloomberg, the company, I mean, that guy's legit. He's a real businessman, but if you've got favorability numbers like that, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you have or how, how great your resume is like, it's not going to happen.